Hey, what's up guys? So in today's video, I actually wanted to talk about some things that I wish were in the game. Zuba. I just want to start off by saying that I'm not bashing the game. I just think that there's some potential enhancements that get overlooked by the company that makes the game and could probably make it better. Let me know down in the comment section below if you guys share any of the same opinions as me. I would actually be pretty interested to see what you guys have to say about all this. As always, thank you guys for watching. Now let's get right into the video. Okay, number one is the ability to see a party member's level when you're in the lobby with them. I can't tell you how many times that when I get a new character, they're like at level one or two, right? And I play with a friend or someone in my clan and they use someone that's at level 12. And it's not their fault, but it would be nice to know what level your friend's characters are at, that way you can choose someone that you think would be a good match like on the same level because you're not gonna find out until it's too late when you're actually in the game. I think it would actually make playing the game modes like duos, trios, and um, big squads a lot better because you can appropriately choose a character that won't be too far off based on the skill level. Okay, second thing that I think would be like super awesome, Wildlife Studios, if you're watching this like this would actually be a cool thing. Give us the ability to add a player after a match. There's been a lot of times where I'll go into like random duos or trios and I'll end up playing with someone that I really, really like. Like their play style is good, we work well together and I want to add them after the game so I could play with them again in the future. And currently, as it sits right now, we don't have any way of doing that in game. In order for us to add people, we have to go to like Discord or some forum or like a chat somewhere. But I think it would be really a good addition to the game if we could actually just do that in game after a match. Another thing that I think actually frustrates a lot of people is the matchmaking. And I'm pretty sure that Wildlife Studios has done their own internal things about working on the matchmaking. Currently as it sits right now, I don't think it's actually that great because as I'm sure you all know, when you get a new character and you start a match and everyone will be like level one, two or three, maybe four. And then they'll just be like some freaking level 15 super Frank, you know, with muscles and all of these items attached to him and it totally destroys that match and it makes it hard for a player getting a new character to actually learn how to use that character because if you're in a match with someone that is just so overpowered you're not going to learn you're just going to get destroyed <laughs> and like that's literally no fun and going off of that actually one thing that i think would be just like a chef's kiss to the game is a training mode. We don't have a training mode right now. And the main benefit that I see is the ability to practice with a character without the risk of losing trophies. Now me personally, I don't really care about trophies. I just like playing the game, but I'm sure to a lot of players and the ones that want to rank, they do care about their trophies. And right now there isn't a way for us to practice a character when you first get them. I do think there's some actual benefit to just practicing initially like with bots or you know in a map that doesn't have anything something that allows the player to enhance game mechanics for a certain character so yeah wildlife studios training mode think about it and lastly one thing i wish wildlife studios would implement in the game is to not make it so hard to acquire new characters. Now, I get that they are a business and they do require transactions from the player base in order to get money from us. But for example, right now in the item store, there is an offer for $50 and you get a legendary crate. And I think some coins or gems too as well. I only have a 7% chance of getting a new character from that legendary crate. And yeah, there needs to be like a happy medium. Like they need to get money too, as well as the company, but players also need to feel like they can make some progress in the game because if not, then they're just gonna like ditch the game and not play it anymore, so. So yeah, this was just a quick video. I do wanna say that, again, I'm in no way bashing the game, just giving my opinions about how I think the uh, game could get a little bit better. I will have you guys know that my next video is going to be a character guide. I'm currently working on it right now. It's just not finished yet, but it will be a character guide and I'm excited for you guys to watch that one too as well. So as always, thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in that character guide video. Peace.